Greetings and welcome to Chapter 5 of the AES Direct Video Webinar Series. In this section we'll cover the Transportation section, and this is where you're going to relay all of the information that you receive from your carrier. So you'll notice we have three fields that we have to provide information for. The first field is the Carrier SCAC or IATA, and this is a code that your carrier should provide to you. Next, you will enter the conveyance name or the carrier name. And then finally, you'll be asked to provide a transportation reference number. And since I have a vessel shipment, a transportation reference number is required. But for all non-vessel shipments, you would not have to provide a transportation reference number. And then once I've provided all of the information in step four, I now have the option of previewing what I've submitted in the four steps by selecting print view. And once you review all of the information and you're sure it's accurate, you can then submit your filing, and you'll receive a message, if it's successful, that the status has been accepted by AES. You can then view the filing. The first thing I'll direct your attention to at the top of the screen is the ITN. Now this stands for the Internal Transaction Number. This is simply a confirmation number provided by the AES Direct system anytime you successfully file. So the structure of it is always starts with X, followed by the four-digit year, two-digit month, and two-digit day, and six randomly generated digits. But please note that the year, month, and date are the date of acceptance of your shipment. And as you're going along, you can review all of the information that you provided to AES Direct to ensure it's accurate. If you determine it's accurate, you'll have the option of printing this out. If you notice a mistake, you can also select amend and correct the mistake. But for now, we will close it out. And this concludes chapter five. Please advance to chapter six, where we'll cover how to amend and cancel a shipment.